Hello, Zaveso here. Today we're going to be building our virtual pen testing lab. Let's go ahead and get started and not waste any more time on some ridiculous speech that most people give at the beginning. I don't even know why they do it. It's just completely ridiculous. They just babble on and on and on and on. Alright, yeah, anyways, let's go. Alright, run. You're going to have three files that you download. Run the VirtualBox installer. Run. Unless you already have VirtualBox and you're in lock. Next, next. I don't want to create any shortcuts, so I don't. Next. Yes. Install. You may have a bunch of, um, what do you call it? It's like drivers, and do you want to install, blah, blah, blah. Always say yes, install to any option that comes up during this little segment right here. He should have a couple drivers, probably three or four, come up. I'm not sure how many. I'm not counting. That's one. Two. Three drivers so far. Four drivers. There we go, that should be all of that. And now go ahead and click finish. Let it start up, unless you want to go find it. That shouldn't be there. All right, you should come up with a window that looks like this. Go ahead and click new. We're going to first make our Microsoft Windows XP. I just call it 1XP because that's what it is. Um, you shouldn't have to change anything. That'll be a nice bit of RAM. You do want to create a boot disk. Then you want to click Next. Uh, you want it to be dynamic so it can expand as you get more, um, more programs and stuff on it. Unless you have a small hard drive, then you may want to have, it have a set amount, like maybe 50 gigabytes. Um, leave this, that'll be good, click next, finish, finish. Now you got um, WinXP. Now we need backtrack, so next, need uh, Linux and get Ubuntu. And we'll call this backtrack, click next, 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 finish, finish. Now we need to start up WinXP. Um, next, you need to browse and find your uh, disk. Mine's under desktop. When XP activated, don't have to um, enter in a license registration for it. Go ahead and start up uh, Backtrack 2. And we'll get that done. Click Next. Browse for it. Find Backtrack. Click Next. Finish. And that should be starting up also. Click enter for the backtrack, and you do your uh, most right control to get out of any um, virtual machine. Find this message, click OK. Let it both start up. They're just kind of chilling right now. Alright, get on the Windows one, click enter to install. You do want to uh, format the partition and let it format. Just kind of waiting here. Format's getting close to done. Shouldn't be a problem. Copying files over. This is actually booting up an operating system that we'll then later install. Alright, so once this comes up, type in startx. You'll need it to actually start up the operating system. 
and it should start booting. Alright, now go into backtrack once it comes up, click install.sh. Alright, 65% for Windows. Alright, once this comes up, just gotta wait a second. Click, alright, after you change the time zone, click forward. After you change the keyboard, I use USA, USA, click forward. Now you do want to use the entire disk, so click forward. Just waiting for the windows to restart and we're waiting for this to prepare the partition the uh, backtrack and of course we want the latest version of both but uh, Windows XP doesn't really get any later it's in service packet 3 of course click install and it's going to install now we're just waiting for Windows Then after you have your um, thing come up, type in your name and I want to call this um, 1XP, click next, then you get your computer name, I'll call it 1XP1, and the password is going to be pass, confirm password pass, next, you can make your password anything. Uh, I'm going to leave this and click next. It's still running. Alright, now XP is rebooting. Let it reboot. Still installing the system on backtrack. The install on XP should be complete. As far as I know, click OK. OK. Wasn't that cute? All right, now we gotta set up our computer. I'll um, click the uh, help protect my PC. Next, which is down there, of course. I'll um, just click skip. Are you ready to register? No, not at this time. Next. User, we'll call it one XP. Next, finish.
There we go. Now when this should be done, just go ahead and power off. Now we're just waiting for backtrack. All right, and then once the screen comes up, install screen complete, go ahead and click continue using live CD. And then open up a terminal, because we're going to turn it off. And once the terminal decides to come up, because it seems like a good time to come up, like right now, How about right now? There we go. Type in halt. And it should shut down. Click do not show this message again. Okay. Press enter and it should shut down. There we go. Now what we need to do is we need to click on 1xp settings we need to go to advance oh, really maybe not there we go that's what you need to do my bad right click and go to settings go to network um, you should only have adapter one. Enable it. Go to um, internal net internal network. Click that. Click OK. And do the same thing for backtrack. So right click, go to settings, go to network, and change it to internal network. OK. And now we can start it up and um, start pen testing on each other and it will not affect and what the internal network does is it makes sure it will not accept the uh, um, affect the actual computer the uh, host computer and um, if you can try to make sure you attack the other computer the uh, 1xp through the internet instead of your home network but it's your choice whatever you want to do and peace out